Jeff from Two Hacks Garage. Well, what is this? It's a Ford. It's a dirty Ford. A dirty Ford waiting a lot of parts. A dirty Ford with 521 cubic inches. A dirty Ford that's going to be worked on soon. This isn't the Ford that we're actually working on today. In previous videos, you've seen that I've been working on a 351 cubic inch Windsor small block that's going in a really slick 1968 Ford Ford Torino, almost at Thunderbird, Ford Torino that my buddy Eddie painted and did the interior on. It was a good running engine, needed some new gaskets, Eddie took care of that. And really what we're doing is like a cosmetic detailing of it. Previous videos, we showed the initial teardown of it, what we need, I ordered some parts, and we started cleaning on it. So in this video, what we're going to do is going to be like the final cleaning of it. We're going to use a torch, some acetone, scrubbing, all that fun stuff to get it ready for paint. And after we get ready for paint, you got that right. We're going to do our best Bob Ross, and we're going to paint that bad boy and make it nice and old Ford blue. So with that, guys, we're going to get cleaning on it. We're going to get grinding, sanding, all that type of stuff, and we're going to get this thing painted so we can get it put back together. See you soon.
Hey, check it out. Got a case of the blues. Get it? Blue? I know. Really bad joke. Dad joke. Whatever. But you know what? I got it painted. Got it all cleaned up. And if you notice in that video, when I cleaned it, I made sure that I kept the old spark plugs in to block those holes. And another little trick so you don't get anything paint-wise or anything like that or contaminants when you're doing all that with paint, I leave the old oil filter on. Uh, the other part about this is, if you notice, I took a little like brass wheel and all that, little stuff like that, and really scraped a lot of that scaling off. Went over with the torch. Um, I do that to sweat any contaminants out. Wiped it down with some lacquer thinner, blew everything off, let it sit, primed it, and then painted it, and then I cleared it. Um, it's not a really hard process, but since this engine's already together, I wanted to make sure to keep out any water, any cleansing solutions, anything like that out of all those ports. And yes, it does take a little bit more time to do that way, but at the same time, the results speak for themselves. Uh, so next step on this project, well, I'm waiting on some parts um, to put this thing back together. The intake manifold's been cleaned. I'm going to get that on there. Got a new carburetor coming, a Holly, because that Edelbrock had to go. Still got to polish those valve color covers and do a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff on this. So for right now, this project is going to wait until I get parts in. So with that, guys, we'll see you soon. Have a good one.